The 550-mile-long Sunzia transmission line is slated to cut through the Rio Grande and the Sevieta National Wildlife Refuge in New Mexico and to convert 33 miles of undisturbed San Pedro River Valley in Arizona from a biological and archaeological gem to a utility corridor. Most of the power will be sold in California. There is minimal, if any, economic or energy benefit for Arizona and New Mexico. Why is this happening? The project was planned in a way that disregards the importance of wildlands and Native American cultural properties. Instead of using already established power corridors, it will destroy intact ecosystems and some of the nation's most important Native American cultural landscapes. Sanzia does not have to go through the San Pedro River Valley. Why does it? The reason is that originally in 2006, the project was to support a fossil fuel generator plant in Bowie, Arizona. That project was abandoned, but the permit was kept. And why does Sanzia go through the Sevieta National Wildlife Refuge? Running the project through Sevieta is cheaper and easier than going through the White Sands Missile Range. What is the motive for the project? Profit. The new owner of Sanzia, Pattern Energy, has exclusive ownership of both the wind facility and the power line. And electricity rates in California are twice as high as in Arizona and New Mexico. Why not try a less destructive route? That would cut into profits. Following a route that is less damaging ecologically and culturally would require new permits, landowner agreements, and planning. Why else stick to the destructive route? Political investment. No matter what, green is good. 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 So Pattern Energy, the state and federal government, choose to sacrifice our wildlands and sacred landscapes instead. By marketing Sunzia as a green energy project, Pattern and the government have set up a false choice. The biggest argument Pattern Energy and the government are selling is that Sunzia carries renewable energy. That being said, a key investor of Pattern is Riverstone, heavily invested in fossil fuels. These massive companies are transitioning to clean energy with an old mindset. Why is renewable energy considered good? It does less harm to our environment. To be green, energy needs to be not only generated, but also transmitted in a green way. The footprint of Sanzia is anything but green. Despite repeatedly raised concerns about Sanzia's impacts on irreplaceable Native American sites in the San Pedro, Pattern Energy and the government continue to desecrate this cultural and religious landscape, erasing its indigenous history and humanity. And that's just the first power line. Via the Inflation Reduction Act, millions of tax dollars will be used to build hundreds of miles of new roads in these intact ecosystems. And thanks to the federal policy to follow pre-existing energy corridors, conveniently ignored in this case, other utility projects will likely follow the Sunzia Corridor. At the recent UN Biodiversity Conference, the majority of the world's governments agreed that biodiversity 
and intact ecosystems are required for the human species to survive. It was also estimated that it will take hundreds of billions of dollars to restore balance. The first power line is a start of decades of construction that will impact the intact ecosystems we need to survive.